Welcome, guys. Now, unfortunately, our World Cup journey has come to an end after last night's defeat to the USA. But I'm joined by Phil Neville. Phil, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for coming on today. No um, I mean, you've only had a few hours to reflect, but what did you make of last night? Well, it was a it was an unbelievable uh, occasion to be involved in. Uh, I had a feeling during the day it was going to be a special occasion. I knew that it was. Uh, it was going to be one of those occasions that you'll probably remember for the rest of your life. You know, it was, it was 54,000 on the stadium was phenomenal. Uh, both sets of supporters uh, were, were incredible. And both players, uh, both sets of players, you know, we, we played them three months ago in She Believes and it was 2-2. We went toe-to-toe, -to -toe. it was like a boxing match. Uh, and we did the same yesterday and both teams knew it before the game. I spoke to their manager, their coach before the game and we both said this is going to be fun. It was never going to be a nil-nil draw. We, 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 we were going to go for it, they were going to go for it. And, and it, it was just whether which team probably had that little bit extra quality when it really mattered uh, was going to be winning the game. And, and unfortunately, they was. We, we had our chances. Uh, we didn't take our chances. Uh, and ultimately, at the end of the day, there's, there's massive disappointment. And, and we, yes, we've got to be proud of our work, but uh, the disappointment is we came here to win the competition. We said from day one, we, we weren't shy about it. And uh, today we wake up with a feeling of emptiness and, uh, and that's normal. And that's normal, I've had it in my career myself. Uh, you wake up the next day and it's over. The, the, that burning desire is gone because you can't achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah, and of course, Ellen's goal was ruled out. We yeah. missed the pen, I know. Toll. I the toll was know, offside. I, I mean, who, who, who invented VAR? <laughs> and the way we were celebrating, oh, don't, Phil. Um, and of course, the missed penalty. Did yeah. you kind of just have that feeling that maybe it just wasn't our time? Do you know what? I didn't. I didn't. Do you know when, when, when the penalty was given, I turned to, to Mark Mason, my goalkeeping coach, said, we're going to win this. I had a feeling we were going to win it. The, the sending off was the one that I thought, this is going to be difficult now because... Uh, They've, as soon as we had the sending off, they started to run the ball into the corner. Their game management was, was world class. Uh, but in that extra, or that extra player down really probably cost us at the end in terms of trying to get forward, trying to put pressure on them. Uh, but what I was so proud about was the way that we kept going and passing the ball. And uh, Steph missed the penalty. And the next pass that we had, she took the ball, she passed it into midfield and I thought, that, that's what we've been working on for 18 months. Forget missing penalties and losing. We've worked on bravery and trying to improve and to, be, uh, to play a certain style. So, you know, at the end of the game, I said to him, I said, there's no need for tears. There's no need for tears. I know you're going to be disappointed. We should just be proud. And, you know, with, 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 I'm the type of person that moves on very quickly. Uh, within 30 seconds, a minute of the end of the game, I'd, I was then thinking, how do we win an Olympic bronze? How do we win the Euro 2021? Uh, and I woke up this morning unhappy again. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we've shown ourselves to the world how we did against Japan, against the USA. I mean, we've been toe-to-toe -to -toe against them. We have done so well throughout this tournament, haven't we? We, we, we are that close. We are that close. We, we're not now going into games hoping. Mm -hmm. You know, you sometimes when you're a, one of those teams, oh, I hope we're going to win tonight. Maybe if we get a bit of luck, a referee's bad decision or a, maybe one of their best players. We're going into games now with that real attitude that we can win, we can be successful. This, this group of players have gone semi-final World Cup in 2015, semi-final European Championships 2017, semi-final World Cup in, in 2019. That is phenomenal. That's phenomenal consistency at the top level. That, that's a team that is at the top end of women's football. Elite senior women's football, we're one of the best teams. You know, Germany, France, they, they, they come up, they come down. We've maintained that, that consistency. And I said to myself, you, you've got to be totally proud. The fact that 23 players are some of the best players in the world and they play for England. Absolutely. And the record-breaking viewing figures back at home, the amount that people are talking about the women's game now. I mean, it's an exciting time. We've got to be proud of what this team have achieved out here. It, it, you know, we, 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 had, we had a couple of objectives on and off the field and, and off the field was one where we wanted to, we wanted to make our players visible. We wanted, and we've done that. Yeah. We've done that, and, and to do that, we had to be really brave. I mean, having having the, having the jeep following us around, doing doing yeah. this every single day, doing the media conferences, the way that we launched the when we named the squad, that that was such a brave thing to do. 
uh, and it's worked. You know, the, the, the nation has fallen in love with 23 elite female footballers and that makes me proud. That makes me proud of the organisation that we work for, that we are putting unbelievable amounts of funding, investment and time into actually making women's football the best. Oh, for sure. It's, it's been incredible. I mean, you say this, it's been absolutely amazing for us being here. Uh, we have to give a special mention to Ellen White. Yeah. I mean, six, almost seven goals. What a tournament she's had. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, you know, it, it's everything that she touched turned to goals. I mean, that, that she's right footed, but that left foot is, is worth a lot of money now. <laughs> uh, her attitude. Uh, she, she's gone from a player that was real team orientated. She'd run a million miles and now she's that predator, the one that wants to score the goals. And, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's great to see someone's progression, confidence, belief on the big stage. Uh, one of the best strikers in the world. I keep saying it about my players, you know, bronze the other day, Horton. Horton's performances in this tournament have been great. Jill Scott, forget her age, amazing. You're talking about the best players in the world, players that would get into that USA team, players that would get into the best team. So we can be really proud uh, and we've still got to keep ploughing forward. And the tournament isn't quite over for us yet. We still no. have one game. Yeah. You're going to pick yourselves up and end on a high? We have to. That's what the best uh, athletes do. That's what the best managers do. Today we'll allow ourselves probably to mope around. I've given them a 24 hour reel. Tomorrow when we wake up, we, we full steam ahead. Full steam ahead for Holland or Sweden, whoever it is. Uh, we've got to win that game. We want to win. We want to finish the tournament on high. If you think about the uh, the tournament, uh, seven games, six. We want six victories, one defeat. That is some record in a World Cup. Uh, and and we want the players to finish on a real high and and reward everybody for the hard work that we've uh, that we've put in. Yeah, and the support really has been amazing. Let's take a look at how you guys reacted back at home. Everyone back at home could not be prouder and we hope you guys have enjoyed tuning in to Lionesses Daily throughout the tournament where we've been giving you exclusive access to the team and don't forget to keep checking the link on the screen to find out how you can win that signed Panini sticker collection. Now Phil, would you give a message to the fans back at home that have been tuning in just down there for us? Well, I'd like to say on behalf of myself and my players and the whole of the FA that the support that you've been sending, the messages, uh, the coverage that we've had back home uh, has been absolutely incredible and, and the fans that have travelled out to Nice, La Havre, Valenciennes uh, and Lyon uh, last night, your support has been incredible too. Uh, we've, we've been inspired, we've been motivated, you've given us energy and, and the love and care and support that you give to us has been amazing and, and my players will be forever indebted to you thankful to you and I just hope now that you stay on the journey with us going forward because the next two years with the Olympics and then the Euros in England are going to be the best two years for the Lionesses. So thank you very much, enjoy your summer and we'll see you in August. Yep, thank you so much and we have had the most incredible time. Seriously, thank, thank you. you, we really appreciate the it. The girls have loved it too. It has been awesome. Here are the best bits from the past few weeks and we'll see you guys soon. Lionesses dearly, part one. Hello guys and welcome to Lionesses Daily.
I wanted to get to this point where we were arriving in France and we were ready to attack the World Cup. Out for a day out, innit? See that ball, see a different colour shirt and just go for it. It was such a good night, weren't it? Like, just the whole atmosphere. Yeah. Definitely yesterday was one of the craziest games I've been involved in. We are in safe hands. Oh. This is snaky. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the drop. Oh. She believed I was a vegan. I went vegan. You can't no, just change. <laughs> What's your favourite thing to do on a day off? How do you wind down and relax? Lioness daily, of course. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is Josie a skull set? Or yeah, she, I'll give it a. She's a skull set. She's a, <laughs> higher or lower? I'm going lower. Okay. Yeah. That's what I knew it was going to be. And we have someone on the show who you guys keep on asking for. Who's on the show? It's Alex Greenwood. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Neville. Funny. <laughs> Embarrassing. Phil. <laughs> She's been waiting to say that, by the way. She's been waiting. Well, they come to me for some banter now. Do they? <laughs> <laughs>